Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Botanic Q add-on, which has a large selection of trees, flowers, grass, weeds, cactuses, and many other nature assets. Okay, so uh, let's press N and open the add-on. The add-on is very easy to install. You just need to download it and then enable it. And then I'm going to press X to delete the uh, default cube. And I'm also going to switch to cycles and use the GPU and increase the number of uh, samples. For uh, this tutorial, I'm going to uh, remove the sun and use the HDRI instead. And uh, then let's try out some uh, different assets. The amount of trees that are included in this add-on is huge. You can see that in the coniferous trees category alone, there's uh, a large, large number of trees. And all of the uh, materials are already set up. So let's just add a uh, background image. And I downloaded this background image for free at uh, HGRI Haven, which I recommend using for your background images for better lighting. And when we go into rendered view, you can see that everything is uh, ready for the final render. So uh, let's try some of the other trees as well. So uh, I just go to spawn assets. And then we can go a bit downwards and uh, see an even larger selection. And uh, there's uh, four different seasons that you can choose from. You can choose the autumn colors, the uh, winter trees with snow, and um, the summer and spring trees as well which will all have uh, different colors depending on the season. The uh, trees under the autumn category usually comes in either yellow or orange, like uh, this one. And uh, some of the winter trees will uh, come without any leaves at all. So uh, let's um, try uh, this one, for example, which is the uh, lemon tree. And uh, I'm going to press S to scale it up. And as you can see, it also has fruits. And uh, let's try out one more under this category. So let's add a uh, willow tree. And then I'm going to uh, scale it up like this. And um, before we add the uh, grass, let's take a look at the other categories as well like the flowers, you can see yeah, there's quite a lot of flowers. You can also add uh, plants. And uh, we can also uh, take a look at the uh, pots, which you can use for the plants. We also have uh, shrubs and uh, cactuses, as well as uh, palm trees to uh, choose from. So let's try this one. And as you can see, when we scale them up, they look uh, great. And uh, then let's try another one, one of the thicker ones, which is the uh, pineapple palm as a scale. And they all look quite realistic and uh, look great in architectural and uh, nature scenes. And uh, next, we're going to take a look at the uh, grass feature. This add-on gets uh, continuously updated for uh, free once you have bought the add-on. So I'm going to press uh, Shift A and then S to scale. And then press Tab for edit mode and then right click to subdivide. Let's set it to uh, 30 cuts like this. And then press Tab to go back to object mode. And then let's add a uh, displacement modifier and add a texture. And then inside the texture settings, we're going to set it to clouds. And uh, then I'm going to add a uh, subdivision surface modifier as well to add some additional polygons. And then you can edit the strength. And uh, let's increase the number of subdivisions and set it around here to get an uh, uneven surface. So something like this. 
and then next we need to uh, add the uh, grass so uh, let's go to scatter assets and then click on the uh, plus icon and then we can choose between many types of uh, grass fields there is also a different category which is called uh, weeds with uh, some different types of uh, grass and then let's add the grass and right now the uh, grass is uh, quite small so uh, let's go into rendered view and uh, as you can see we need to increase the size of the grass so uh, let's uh, change the scale value so I'm just going to try some higher values that's still not enough. I'm going to set it to uh, 7. And then we can also increase the number of particles. So let's increase the uh, max value. And then let's set the number to 300k. And then I'm also going to uh, make the background uh, transparent. So uh, let's go into the render settings. And then under film you can enable uh, transparent and as you can see we now have grass tulips and uh, another flower as well and uh, you can increase or decrease the number of uh, flowers here so uh, let's hide the uh, tulips And in this video, I'm also going to show you how you can get even more control of the number of uh, flowers as well as the location of both the flowers and the uh, grass using weight paints. So uh, this is what it looks like without any flowers. And we can also add some new ones. And you can add some weeds. And uh, let's try this one, for example. And uh, then I'm going to increase the number until we see them. And as you can see, they're quite short, so uh, they're not that visible. But uh, if we create a, a new particle system, we uh, can have more control of the individual flowers and the size of the flowers. So uh, let's try that out by setting this one to zero and then create a, a new particle system. Let's just uh, make it uh, grass. And then next we are going to uh, decrease the number because we do not need uh, half a million flowers. And then let's uh, remove all of the uh, objects. And then let's add a new one. So um, let's add a, a type of flower. And um, right now we can't see it much because it's uh, quite small. So we're going to increase the scale. And as you can see, we now have much more control over the uh, scale of the flowers compared to the grass as well as the number of uh, flowers. And this is what it looks like in rendered view. Let's increase the size further so that we can actually see them. And here we have them. Having lavender in grass is not that pretty, but um, at least it's possible. So uh, let's try uh, another flower like the uh, bellflower and then increase the scale the size of uh, each of these uh, flowers are often different so you need to adjust the size accordingly so let's set this one to uh, 15 for example and now we can more clearly see the uh, flower now let's try out the other category by uh, first deleting these uh, 
particle systems and then open a new one which is uh, under the weeds category and uh, let's try out the uh, swap and uh, set the scale to 5 and uh, this is what it looks like in rendered view and you have a lot of options that you can play around with for uh, these uh, weeds and swamps as well. Now next we're going to take a look at the weight paint option which allows you to choose where you want the grass to be uh, placed by uh, drawing on the uh, surface. So uh, right now I think there's uh, too many particles. So uh, let me just um, first apply the uh, subdivision surface modifier and then go back and uh, decrease the uh, number. So I'll set it to 5000 instead. And we can now use the weight paint brush to uh, draw whatever you want to using uh, grass. You can also subtract like this and then recalculate the density. And then let's go back and uh, when we render we can see that we have the uh, grass. So uh, it's a very powerful add-on and if you want to get it you can find it in the link in the description. As you can see it has a lot of sales and uh, it's very popular among the reviewers. And here you can also see some of the renders that has been made using this add-on. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.